Hey, what's up guys? How we doing? So I really want to talk about this new film that just came out on Amazon Prime called The Vast of Night. This sci-fi feature is from first-time director Andrew Patterson and stars Sierra McCormick as a teenager named Faye Crocker who is a switchboard operator in the 1950s as well as a young man who plays a radio DJ named Everett who is played by Jake Horowitz. The film takes place in Cayuga, New Mexico in a 1950s setting where we follow these two on the course of one very strange night. Not only that, but this film is done in a way where it resembles an episode of Paradox Theater which was this old style kind of Twilight Zone-esque anthology TV series. So you get that classic narration to introduce us into the film and we see a small older TV and it slowly zooms in into what's going to be the actual film. I thought this was a very intriguing and fresh way of representing and kind of showcasing an older time period that they could have completely done without and the film would have been just fine, but I think it added an extra layer which made it all that much more interesting overall. There are times where it might be a little distracting, but I really like how it was done in the sense where I really felt like I was a part of the film and I was just right there along with these characters the entire time. Now a key plot point to this film is when we see that Faye discovers this really strange sound and audio frequency coming through the radio and that takes on a whole nother level of this film where you, there's a lot of mystery and trying to solve this strange occurrence. Now some of the things I really enjoyed about this film was that it had some really long takes and there's times where you're almost forgetting that they're going on for so long but I really appreciate that level of filmmaking. However in the beginning you might not really be sure where things are going and it can feel a little maybe lost and just trying to get its footing but once you really start to understand and have met these characters and learned a bit more about them and what they're like you start to really get into it. Not only that but the sound design is really strong throughout. There are times where it gets really quiet and uh, some of the music, especially the original score, I thought was really well done. One thing I really enjoyed was the characters. I think uh, in the beginning, I wasn't sure if I was going to like them all that much, but you start to really get a feel for them and they have some really funny little quirks here and there. And there's actually a good amount of humor that is present throughout the film, which I wasn't really expecting until later on. I do feel that it's about the perfect length at about an hour and a half. And I really enjoyed the time period being in the 50s um, there were certain things that there was nice little callbacks and things that you just don't see nowadays in ways of doing things, talking, the clothing. I really felt like it was spot on, especially given the fact that this film had a very low budget. This is one of those films where I wish I could have seen it maybe in theaters because I want to see it at the best picture quality as possible. There's this filter that they use which might have been sort of an aesthetic design, but at times it felt like it could have been a little darker in contrast. And this really doesn't take anything away from the film, it's just an observation I made. There's also a couple different story elements that they explore and they could have gone one of two ways. I probably would have been fine either way, but I would have been very intrigued to see if they had done things just a little bit differently in particular with one of the side characters. I think this film also has some interesting things to say about class and race that are sort of hinted at a little bit in some of its themes and I think they handled that very well. It's very subtle and it added a nice extra layer to the film. Overall guys this is a very fun and interesting film that I think many of you should give a chance and check out especially if you have an Amazon Prime account. Sci-fi fans will find a lot to like about this movie and for anyone else I think there will definitely be aspects of it that you will greatly enjoy. The Vast of Night casts an eerie shadow of mystery and thrills bringing charm to the sci-fi period piece that pays tribute to past ideas. And that's why this film is a diligent pick. So guys, have you seen The Vast of Night? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. And if you could tell me about any other films you've been watching lately, it really sucks that we can't go to the movie theaters, but I hope all of you are staying safe and doing really well right now. As always, my name is Dylan, and if you love entertainment, subscribe to my channel while this video ends and send me a thumbs up before you go. Thanks for watching and stay diligent.